The campaign. Conrad, make sure the uh, video system's on. I want the whole company to hear this. It's on, sir. Carry on, Gray. The campaign exudes nostalgia, comedy, thrill, excitement, and cutting edge fashion all under one banner. It appeals to a wide demographic and leads the consumer with an emotional end benefit of feeling charged up to challenge themselves and seize the day and be the best they can be. <laughs> Well, Julia, and I must say, you look fantastic. What do you think? Great, no? No. N no? No. Well, it's, a, it's, it's just an initial proposal. I mean, it still needs to be tweaked and tuned. You only tweak or tune if something has potential. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll go back to the drawing board then, that's all. Why don't you call me when you have something original to present? Julie, I'm sure we have a bunch of things. Shut that thing off. I'm sure we have a bunch of things and this is just one of them. What's wrong with you? That was crap. Julie, Julia, just a sec. Consumers have to think of nothing but C Pro. B Pro. What? B Pro. You said C Pro. I did? Yeah, yeah, you said C Pro. I'm very sorry. Would you excuse me for a minute? I have to get a glass of water. Take your time. We'll be back in just one minute. Give me a P! Miss Valentine, a creative executive on the Bartlett account, because I thought it would be best to show Julia two perspectives. You mean the one of her tits and the one of her ass? Great! I'm sure that Lana has 36 double D ideas for the account, and I'll, I'll just give you your privacy to fondle through them. <laughs> you want to see me? Oh, yeah, great. Seems Julia wasn't thrilled with the way our last presentation went. Why don't you go ahead and fire me, because I don't need to be embarrassed or humiliated or patronized anymore. Well, actually, I was going to give you a promotion, but on second thought... What? I asked Jordan to make you the executive creative director on my account and to give you free reign to do whatever you want. Carrie told me that the cheerleader idea was yours. I think you have great ideas. You just haven't been given the freedom to explore them fully. I like your energy, your spunk, your candidness, and I think with the right support, you're going to give me exactly what I'm looking for. Wow. I don't know what to say. Sorry to interrupt, Gray, but your 12 o'clock meeting with Brother Electronics is in the small conference room. Oh, I don't have a 12 o'clock meeting with Brother Electronics. They said they confirmed it with your office. Please, go ahead. I don't want to hold you up. Thank you so much. You will not be sorry. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. I will not let you down. Isn't she adorable? I'm not gonna meet anyone here. Hey, give that a minute. Oh my god, it's Julia Bartlett. Quick, quick, you gotta get out of here. Why? You never see me in a gay bar. Hello? Is there anybody in? No. Craig, did your mom ever tell you? What your IQ scores were? <laughs> Hi, Gray. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. I'm just taking a break from working on your account. Gray, I, I didn't come over here to check up on you. <laughs> um, hello. Uh, my name's Georgette. 
Hi, nice to meet you. And, um, lovely. And now I'm just going to leave you two to, uh, to, um, to catch up on everything. Mm, lovely. Mm. Yeah, it was lovely to see you too. Really nice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that way. Kisses. So, um, fine. It's fine, I'm fine, you're fine. Everything's going to be fine and I've got to go now. Bye. You really surprised me the other day. I had no idea you were gay. <sighs> that makes two of us. You're not just coming out, are you? Put it this way. My hotel's been closed for a long time, but tonight's the grand opening. There have been a few fake openings, but tonight's the real deal. <laughs> I... No, I, I don't understand. <laughs> suit you were wearing. I like that suit too. <laughs> I think I got it at uh, Banana Republic or maybe it was uh, Emporio Armani. Actually it could have been Barney's but the shirt I think was from Lumi's. Listen, I have this beautiful bottle of cognac that I just bought back from France and I would, I'd love to share it with you. You have it here with you? No. My place. Oh. Central Park West and 85. Uh, okay, well, I like cognac. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like cognac. I like brandy, too. I usually have a little cognac with a splash of brandy on the side. But I have brandy, too. 